Battleground is live in this Sunday on pay-per-view. I almost forgot that this fucking pay-per-view was this Sunday. But yes, it's this Sunday. Now, before I get to my predictions for the matches of this pay-per-view, I gotta be honest, I'm not too crazy about this pay-per-view for more than one reason. One, the title. Battleground? Really? Is that supposed to be like a cool name? Why don't we, and then it's the second pay-per-view this month. We have Battleground, and then later we have Hell in a Cell. What the fuck? What, does Zoe B think we're just made of fucking money? We're going to spend, how much is it for a pay-per-view? 45 bucks twice in one month? 90 bucks? How about we just do away with both of them and just bring back Halloween Havoc? I like Halloween Havoc. Yeah, it's a WCW pay-per-view, but hey, WWE did the Great American Bash before. The kickoff is Dolph Ziggler versus Damian Sandow. Now here's another reason why I'm not happy right off the start. This is the kickoff match. Dolph Ziggler, one of their best wrestlers, at least their top five or ten best wrestlers today, Dolph Ziggler, fighting Damian Sandow, Money in the Bank winner, a future world champion. Why is this on the kickoff? I'm going to say that Dolph Ziggler gets the win. Now for the actual pay-per-view, we have the Intercontinental Championship. Curtis Axel versus R-Truth. I personally think that this should be the kickoff match because I really don't care that much about it. Oh, R-Truth pinned Curtis Axel last Monday. Okay, fine. It's just a rushed, put-together match. I know R-Truth is going to win. Curtis Axel wins. Divas Championship match. AJ versus Brie Bella. Now, it looks like they're pushing Brie Bella, maybe even both Bella Twins, as faces now. I don't know if it's because Bree's dating Daniel Bryan or because AJ is running out of competition to defend her title again. You know, I'm not sure who's going to win this, to be honest. I'll just say AJ, more so because I want her to keep the belt. I don't want Bree to win just because she's dating Daniel Bryan. Cody Rhodes and Goldust versus Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. Now, I thought originally that the Usos were the number one contenders for the tag team titles, and I thought that's what we were going to get for the pay-per-view, but no, you know what? I like this better. It's not for the tag team titles, but I like that Cody Rhodes is gonna wrestle again. Gold Dust 2 is in there. This is the first time that I remember seeing these two brothers tag together, and they're fighting for their job. I think it's great. Um, rooting for Cody Rhodes and Gold Dust. It'd be awesome to see both of them get a job in WWE. One-on-one -on -one match, CM Punk versus Ryback. Okay, Ryback is a Paul Heyman guy now even though it looked like Paul Heyman was going to propose to Ryback. How weird was that? Ironically, it's a rematch from last year's Hell in a Cell match between these two. CM Punk was the first person to beat Ryback in Ryback's first pay-per-view match. I see it going down at least a similar way, maybe not the same way, because Brad Maddox won't interfere or be the referee. But CM Punk hopefully gets the win. He's been losing too much at pay-per-views. World Heavyweight Championship hardcore match. Alberto Del Rio versus Rob Van Dam. Now, I would love more than anything to see Rob Van Dam win the world title here. He deserves it, and it's a fucking hardcore match. How could he lose that? But again, I don't see WWE be giving him the title. And this is the time, this is the match where I see Ricardo Rodriguez interfere and go back with Alberto. That just seems like it probably should go that way if it were to happen. And WWE needs to come up with a better excuse of why Damian Sandow, say for this match, after this match, won't cash in Money in the Bank. It's a hardcore match. You know they're going to beat the holy living hell out of each other. If he doesn't cash it in after that match, he's an idiot. And they need to explain that. That brings us to our main event. WWE Championship match for the vacated championship. How bullshit was that to have Daniel Bryan lose the belt like that. But it's the rematch. Randy Orton versus Daniel Bryan. It'd be cool if Daniel Bryan won. I know he won at Night of Champions, but I feel like they're teasing us with this Bryan title run. I feel like they want to give him the belt or they, they're they going to give him the belt, but they're just making us want it so much more. So when it finally happens, hopefully this Sunday, it will feel that much better. So that's what I'm going to say. Daniel Bryan for the win. The fact that there's two pay-per-views in this one month alone sucks. Whatever. I'm an idiot and I'm going to order both of them because I'm a lifelong WWE fan and I guess that's just what we do. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below what your predictions are for Battleground. Like and subscribe. 
later